Hello guys, how are you? Today we're not gonna do any type of introduction. We're just gonna get right into it. I woke up this morning and I said, I want to create a very pastel -y look today. And I went real fast on Google and I found six looks that I uh, like and I would like to recreate and today. we're gonna do something completely different. What we're gonna do, we're gonna let the we'll choose what look we're gonna do and what palette we're gonna use. Actually, I'm gonna do two palettes. I think that will be the best because it's gonna be hard. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know, because these palettes, I don't even know. I put these palettes in, in this wheel a long time ago, so I, they're not even all my palettes, but let's see, let's, let me show you the look. So we have this one. This is gonna be look number one which is so pretty. And then we have this one, which is look number two. It's a little bit more dramatic. We have look number three, which is gorgeous. And then we have a look number four, which is a lot. <laughs> and last, oh, five, this is look number five, um, it, which is really nice too. And I have, I could use my Suva, um, eyeliner to see if it is gonna work like that and then we have look number six now I'm a little scared to be honest with you because I have never done this before so it's my first time so please give it a thumbs up because I'm actually going out of my comfort zone for this so uh, wish me luck and he, he goes nothing Spin. And it's gonna be look number three. Oh my God, yay! This is the look number three. Yes, I love this. Oh yes, oh yes. This is gonna look so good because I even have this boss. What? That's magical, okay? That is magical. All right, now, <laughs> the hardest part of this video. Let's see what it's gonna choose for my eyeshadow palette um i am terrified because i <laughs> yeah, i don't have that many looks that i i don't have that many palettes that do have this um this, that color in it oh i know which one has it and i'm really really crossing my finger that's gonna be the one that is gonna be chosen but let's see so I have here a lot of eyeshadow palettes like I said I don't even remember what I put in there but they're not all of them but there's a bunch of them so whew, here goes nothing please make it make it be Colourpop is it Colourpop is it Colourpop oh fuck no that has nothing purple in it. Okay, so we'll do that one. So we'll do Jewel Pop from Kevin Aquan. And all right, let's do another one. So, Pizza Veggie Lover Glam Light. Wow. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so let me bring those two palettes down and compare and see what can we come close to that look oh, i don't know all right i'll be right back all right guys so here we go let's <laughs> i really see how they look so this is the glam light which has nothing in it like that beautiful <laughs> lila color and this is the jewel pop from kevin aquan which again doesn't have much in it we're gonna try to adapt and see uh, what can we come up with, okay? So I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna have to do my brows first and then we can move into it. All right, so I filled in my brows. It's kind of weird to do my uh, brows first and not put foundation and all that. It's kind of weird to do all these things because I usually like to put full face and then do the eye makeup. But today we're just gonna do it in reverse and see how that works. We're gonna start with this uh, NYX and this is an eyeshadow base and this is in white. So we're just gonna get a little bit of this and apply it on my lid. <sighs> Let's 
get these two palettes right here and let me look again at this look I'm gonna put it on the screen for you so you can see it and we'll see what we're gonna start with first so this is really nice I actually love 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 the way this one looks fortunately what I have in here is not quite what I'm gonna be able to create but what we're gonna do we definitely have to start with a transition shade so let's see so we're gonna start with moonstone as my transition shade moonstone is this one right here and just apply this all over my lid i have played with this palette maybe once or twice and i never touched it since um so i am glad i get the opportunity to play with this again i mean i'm glad this one was picked because i just don't i don't use this too much actually i i don't use it at all i might either hmm i think i'm gonna use the sculpting uh shade from here but also what i'm gonna do because this glam light pizza lover has has this mushroom um it's kind of like a brown reddish brown right so i'm gonna get a little bit of that and try to put it in my crease i'm gonna get a little bit of this and just try to put it in my crease by the way this is an amazing eyeshadow palette i absolutely love that i tried it a bunch of times actually i did play with it a little bit but it, it is a very very um pigmented so make sure you don't dip too hard into the pan so we're just gonna go right here and i'm just gonna make sure i really blend this in here like this i like that actually that looks really nice and now from the kevin aquan we're gonna take that sculpting color and I was just going to put it right above. Alright, so that's good. Now, now the biggest, <laughs> the biggest obstacle of today, trying to figure out what color should we do to have that really pretty color that we saw earlier so I'm thinking the only thing that may be looking a little bit closer to that color is this caramelized onions which is a shimmer let me see in here what else I have and here I only have this ruby which it's again a lot a little bit of a a sheer looking thing so I'm thinking, also I see this in rose quartz. I see that that color it might look a little bit to the purplish side. It's not gonna be exactly the same, but it's gonna look a little bit. So I'm just gonna play with that. I'm gonna try to get, so I'm gonna try to get this from rose quartz and just kinda press that in on the lid. And see what we came up with. It's not a lot that comes out of that. So we might just have to go with caramelized onions. So I'm thinking just to make sure that it pops and it's a little bit lighter. Lighter. I'm going to do... Um, I'm just going to cut my crease a little bit. Just kind of give it that definition. And hopefully it's going to look a little bit lighter. That's what we did right there. We're going to get that caramelized onions. I'm going to try to get it with my finger. And then, oh, it's going to actually look a little bit different than what I envisioned. Well, hmm. let me try from Jewel Pop. This is definitely a challenge. It is definitely a challenge. 
So we're going to try the ruby on top of that and see how they combine. Not bad, actually. Not, not bad at all. So what I'm going to do on top of that, I think I'm just going to add a little bit of this moonstone. Didn't quite end up looking exactly the way it was. <laughs> it's definitely not what we were looking at, what we were looking at, right? It's definitely completely different. But it's nevertheless it's a nice look still. Alright. So what I'm gonna do on top of that, I'm gonna try to make that line with this. Now, as you can see in the picture, and the inner core has a little bit of a pink. I'm going to go with this from here, from the blush, and try to get it right in here. And see if it actually looks like that. Mm, not quite, but... We're just gonna get what we have. <laughs> oh my god, this is definitely not looking anything like that picture whatsoever. But, uh, you know, we're just having fun with makeup. Ouch. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I'm just gonna go and put down my, uh, lay down my foundation and then come back and do the under eye, the eyeliner, and the mascara and see how this look is gonna turn out. Curious? Stay tuned then. All right, so my foundation is down. Now we're the only thing that we're gonna do. We're just gonna apply a little bit um, of that sculpting medium under my eye, and then we're gonna do the black liner, and we are gonna be done. Here we go. Just a little bit of that, and probably I'm just going to add just a little bit of the mahogany too, to darken it up a little bit. I'm going to use this one from Dose, Fierce and Fine Graphic Liner in black. Well, let me do the same thing to the other eye. I went ahead and applied a little bit of mascara, Marc Jacobs, and this is the eye look. Does it look anything like the one we had in the picture? No, <laughs> but we, uh, I, I really like this challenge because you actually can take your old old um, palette and combine it and try to come up with a look that is the closest one to the picture I think I'm gonna start doing this a little bit more let me know if you like that give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and I will see you all next time bye for now